Hello everyone and welcome to today's lesson. Today we are learning about factors of a number. Our keywords are factors and number. So today we're going to look at a couple of examples and I will use uh, two different methods to teach you how to find factors of a number. The first question says, what are all the factor pairs of 14? So we are interested in finding factor pairs of the number 14. How do we do this? So the very first thing here, I've used a square box uh, to show the number 14. If you count the square box, the square yellow box, is 14. Now this 14 has been arranged on a single row. So we can say 14, the number whose factor pairs we are looking for, equals, as you can see, the yellow boxes, which makes up 14, is arranged in a single row. So that is just one, one single row. So we're going to write that one times the number of that square yellow boxes on that single row, which is 14. So we have one times 14. So what we have done here is we have decomposed the number 14 into 1 and 14. And if you say 1 times 14, we still give you 14. So that's what we have. So the factor pairs of 14 are, we can say 1 and 14. Uh, you should take note of here, which I will explain further, that uh, 1 is always a factor of any number. And the number itself, in this case, 14. So let's rearrange in another way. Let's see how we can arrange the number 14 again. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So this is another arrangement. In this case, we can see that 14 can be decomposed into now, each row has seven yellow boxes. They are equal for each row, seven equal uh, square boxes. So, and there are two rows here, yeah? one and two. So, in this case, we're going to write two times in each row makes up seven yellow boxes. So, that's two times seven. So we can say that uh, 2 and 7 is also a factor pairs of 14. 2 times 7 is 14. So this is one of the simple visual way of finding factor pairs of a number. So the number in each factor pairs, 1, 2, 7, and 14, are refers to as factors. So these are factors of the number 14. You can pause the video or probably replay the video for better understanding as we look into another example. What are all the factors of 32? So in this case, we want to find factors of 32. So, of course, there are different ways of finding this. This time around, I'm going to use a multiplication table method. So, the factor pairs of 32, let's get that out first. We know that 1 is always a factor and the number itself, 32. So, it means that every number we have at least one factor pairs and at least two factors, one and itself. So that's the first thing. Then after that, we can tend to look at, so what other factor pairs can we have for 32? 
I bring to you this multiplication table that can help you. After the number one, then you can try the number two. You can see the number two. Let's try two. That means we skip counting by two. If you skip counting by two, you keep counting two, you will definitely get to the number 32. And how many times will you skip counting by two to get to that 32 is 16, as you can see. So we can say two and 16 are also factor pairs of 32. Two times 16 is 32. We go to the next number, three, that's row three. You will notice that if you do skip counting by three, the closest you will ever get to is 30 or 33. So you won't see 32. So you move on to the next one, which is four. Skip counting by four, you will definitely see a 32. And that is at the eighth column. So we can say four and eight are also factor pairs of 32. So now uh, we can say, uh, you can just do a random check. This is probably all. Um, the number one, each of these factor pairs are uh, refers to as factors of 32. One, two, four, eight, 16, and 32. I hope that helps. Uh, with this multiplication table, this one is 20 by 20. Uh, you, it can help you in one way to find factors of number. You are just looking for two numbers you multiply together that will give you the number. All right, so let's take a look at um, a word problem. A soccer coach has 24 trophies to display in a cabinet. How can she display the trophies in equal rows? Find all possible arrangements. So for this question is asking us how do we uh, display these 24 trophies in equal rows? Of course, it's still asking you to find the factors of that number. So how do we do this? So these are the 24 trophies, um, and in this way, they are arranged in a single row in the cabinet. So we can say that's just one row. So this is one row of, in this one row, how many trophies do we have there? It's 24, 24. So we can write it as one row of 24. Then we look at another way of arranging this in the cabinet. So if we count the first 12 and another 12, of course 12 plus 12 will still give us 24. So in this case, we have one row, another row, so two rows. And in each row is 12 trophies. So we can say this is two rows of 12. Let's look at another way. We still have the 24 trophies, and this time around, we split it into equal rows. And if you see, this is row one. If you count it, that is eight trophies. Row two, eight trophies. Row three, eight trophies. That means there are three rows of eight. Three times eight will still give you 24. One more. Let's see. So um, splitting the trophies again into six rows, uh, into six in each row in this case. So we have six trophies here. So this is another six, another six, and another six. All together will give you 24. And in each row, an equal number of trophies, six. So we have the row one, row two, row three, and row four. So how do we call this? Can you try? Of course, yes. This is four equal rows. So we have four rows of six in each row. So at the end of this, we've been able to see that uh, 
we can arrange this in different possible ways. So we have to find all possible arrangements. So what we've done, we have the one rule of 24. And here I'm going to tell you that for each of these arrangements, it can be reversed. One row of 24 is just 1 times 24, which is 24. If I reverse it to 24 rows of 1, 24 times 1 is still 24. So it's also a possible arrangement. The next one, we have the two rows of 12. How can we reverse this? Can you try? Yes, that will be 12 rows of 2. The next one, we show, I showed you three rows of eights, and reversing it is going to be eight rows of three. And lastly, four rows of six, reversing it will give you six rows of four. These are all the possible arrangements. I hope you understand. You can replay the video for better understanding. Take care and see you in another video. Uh, one quick lesson is that if you know your multiplication table, it will help you to find uh, factors of a number. Looking for two numbers to multiply together to get the number whose factors you are looking for. Take care and bye-bye. And take note that 1 is always a factor and the number itself. See you. Bye.